when you get a chatbot with bot sheets, it uses our own open AI key by default. So as a platform that's built on top of GPT, open AI's AI technology, it will use our account by default. And in each plan that we provide you with, we give you a certain number of credits, or we call message credits or chat credits. And you can track that here. This chat, this account here has unlimited credits. And if I click that, you can see here that I've only used uh, this number of the total message credits available to me under this plan. Each plan has a different number of credits. And when your chatbot receives messages, it will deplete those credits. So, uh, and it resets each month. So you get a certain number depending on your plan each month. And those credits are at our cost because they use our open AI key. Now, if I click this chatbot here and I click settings, and then I'm in the bot settings for this chatbot under general, and you can see that I can put in my own open AI key. Now, why would I want to do that? Well, it gives your chatbot unlimited message credits. So if we only give you a certain number of credits within your plan, that doesn't mean your chatbot can't have unlimited messaging credits. It just means that you would need to add your own API key and you would get some credits from us. But when you add your open AI key, it uses your open AI account. And so any usage of open AI's technology, the underlying AI behind bot sheets, is at your expense. And you can track usage of that key uh, and your expenses for that key uh, directly through the OpenAI portal. Without a key, and you can see this field is blank, then it's using our key. And we're incurring the costs through OpenAI, uh, not you. So we give you some credits for free, but you can add your own key and make your chatbot have unlimited messaging capabilities. And you can do that for every chatbot. You might add a different key. Why? Well, because you may, if you have more than one chatbot, you want to track usage of a key or different keys for each bot. If you're an agency serving clients, you, you may want to ask your client to say, you know, just provide me with an open AI key. We'll put it into the chatbot. And then the, the, their ch the client's chatbot has unlimited messaging capabilities at your client's expense. So, uh, it's deep blank by default. It's using our key. I'm going to show you where you can then find your own open AI key. And you can see here, as we put into red text here, you're going to want to make sure that your open AI account has access to GPT-4 Turbo. So, this is important because uh, GPT-4 Turbo is currently the latest technology, and we we require that we require our account has access to that, and your account would need to have access to that same technology if you were to add your own OpenAI key. And so you would need to make sure in OpenAI that you do have access to this. And in some countries, GPT-4 is uh, not enabled. So again, you'll want to check OpenAI. And, your, and make sure that it's available in your country and under your, uh, your OpenAI plan that you have with them, which could be very well be a free plan, um, but it's, it's, and, and pay per use. But it might, your account with OpenAI might have some limitations. And just check to see it, that it has GPT-4 Turbo. Without that, bot sheets won't work. Uh, and if it doesn't work with your account, that's okay because we provide you with those free credits so you can use our account it doesn't matter what country you're in because it's the underlying API key is our our OpenAI key, and we have a, 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 a you know an enterprise level account with OpenAI. So let's go see where we can get an OpenAI key for for this chatbot. And you can just uh, go to OpenAI.com, and I can click Menu, and then I'll click API, and there's uh, different, uh, you can check the pricing and you can go to uh, overview and you can see here 
get started for developers. So let's click get started and you're going to be taken in to sign in. And I'm just going to sign in here and whoops. Okay. Oh, this user. Oh, okay. Sorry. This is to create an account. I already have an account. So let's click sign in. So that's something to take note. Uh, I'm going to, I'm, I'm going to click sign in and then it says, welcome back. I put it, my email address is pre-filled and then my password. And now it's going to take me into here and uh, looks like they're, they're getting some, some partial outage. So we get that notification. We can just close that. And you're now in the, uh, the portal. And if you go to the left here, you can see here in the menu, there's something called API keys. So you can click API keys and you can, uh, you can see here, I've created uh, a number of different uh, API keys already. And once they're created, uh, you can't really uh, access them again here. You can just see that they've, they've been created. So, uh, I, I don't see, I could give it a, a name if I want, which is just a reference name. But what I want is this secret key value here. So you don't see it. It has these three dots, um, but you can see it. Each key starts with an SK dash and then, uh, you know, a string or a, a set of, uh, you know, characters. Uh, so what you'll want to do is you'll want to click create new secret key. And, uh, you don't have to give it a name if you don't want. You can just click uh, Create Secret Key. And then there's your key. And you can just uh, copy that key and click Done. And then you can just go back to the Bot Sheets dashboard and you just paste in the key into here. You'll see it has the SK. And then you just click Save. And that's it. And so now this chatbot is going to use this OpenAI account. I use my own, but you're going to want to use yours. You're going to want to sign in or sign up with OpenAI. Generate one of those keys and, uh, and just paste it in here. And then from then on, uh, any costs around messaging uh, isn't going to be using our key or our credits. It's going to be using your OpenAI account, or at least the OpenAI, the key associated with a particular OpenAI account that, that was that was provided. Um, so that, that helps. And then you can track usage and um, uh, of that key and your expenses all directly through the OpenAI uh, dashboard located at platform.openai.com. Okay, hope that helps you get started. And feel free to uh, comment and let us know if you have any questions.